Hello everybody. Uh, okay, what we're going to be doing here is uh, we're going to be trying to make a whirly gig. And I've done some early preliminary drawings of, of the mechanism here. Let me see if I'm getting this on film correctly. Yeah, okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, the mechanism's right here. And it's basically uh, a thick coat hanger wire. And uh, these are two pieces of... Uh, bent steel here and here and the coat hanger wire goes through uh, a hole here and it turns like this and this goes up and down this creates a motion from this wire to this wire here it moves the head, horse's head up and down you move the horse's head up and down and, uh, there's a pivot point right here so when this goes up and down, then these rear legs come up off of the ground and it rocks like this. And then they, they, they kick outward like that. And the reason why is because they're on a pivot as well, right here. So uh, the little horse rider, his arms pivot right here. So that when this pivots back like this, the legs kick out like this, and his little arms go like this, back like that, too. All giving a, a, a look like he's on the back of a horse being bucked. So it looks pretty cute. And uh, so what we're going to try to do is size this up a little bit. We're going to have to do it freehand. So I'm going to do it, start on it right now. Laying this drawing here so I can look at this as a guide. Take a piece of blank paper right here. And we're going to start sketching, seeing if we see what we can do with this. So we lay the guide piece right there like that, and we'll start on the horse's head. And we're going to try to scale it up a little bit. So we'll start on the ear. So the ear would be somewhere around there. And then we have the horse's head coming down this way. Have a little bit of his nose. His chin turns under like this, and he's got a little hook here for his mouth. A little bit of a chin. Comes around like this. Comes up. And we have a turn. Horse's head bends this way. We want to make the hook right about here. Well, the wire. Comes up his bridle, where his bridle is going to go. Turns and comes down this way for his body. Now, if you notice, I'm scaling up the size. Size is not the same on this one as it is on this one. So the horse's eye, eye would what be about here? Yeah, that's about right. And. Uh, his body comes down like this. Toward the back end. Body comes down like this and then it starts to taper up toward the belly. So we want that kind of a taper up toward the belly. A little bit of a kick out right here, and then it comes back around right about there. So that's a sized up horse from this horse body here to this horse body here. And I would say it looks just about sized up in the right proportion. So I think I'll go with that. It looks about right. About the size I want to for what I'm doing. Now we have his leg, his uh, front leg would be, I have to get this about right. Front leg, uh, I'm going to guess maybe in here. I'm just going to draw it very lightly because I'm guessing. Front leg would be about there. And his rear leg would kick around like, like this in here. A haunch. The haunch has to come out a little bit, about here. So I better erase this line I drew right here. Let's 
not quite right for the haunch. The haunch has to come out a little ways. It comes out this way a little ways and then it comes back in like this. Going down toward a kick, which is his, which is the uh, mean side of his leg. This doesn't look quite right either. This has to be a little bit more winged out this way and come in. It'll swoop in a little bit more this way. So something like like this maybe right here might be pretty much sized. It looks pretty good. So the leg of the guy would be just basically on top of the shoulder of the horse here. So he'd have his foot here like this. And his, his, his pants coming down to a knee and then it comes out for his, his bum sitting on the horse. His leg and his belly and make him kind of fat. He's got his arm down here like like yay coming down like this. So that's scaling it up some. Problem is I'm running out of room with my paper. But I think that's looking pretty good. Let's draw it a little bit darker, a little outline. Here and here. Now I, uh, let me see here, get that like that, yeah about there we can hook the pin up to connect to the horse right there, it'll, it'll kick up his rear like that. So yeah I would say this horse's body is about right. I should go and get the scissors and uh, cut that out and we'll get for moving on to the next step here. Uh, somebody, I uh, saw this on the internet, this design. Somebody else had built it. And uh, so I'm uh, doing it my own unique way. I'm drawing it up, redrawing it up myself. And uh, I don't have any patterns for it, so I'm going to make a set of patterns for it today. So that's kind of what I'm up to here in the shop as I'm making this set of patterns for this design here today. And uh, kind of filming that process. And we'll see how it looks. Should be fairly interesting. So I'm going to finish cutting this horse out. And it is kind of uh, interesting what you can do with paper. Paper is really quite the stuff. The Egyptians, uh, they started making paper, uh, some of the earliest papers out of uh, out of grass uh, reeds. They used to take the uh, K 
cattails and they would uh, lay them on the, and they call it pap papyrus, it was called. It wasn't even called paper, it was called papyrus. And they laid the cattails on the uh, ground and they would beat them. Bang, 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 beat them down flat. And then they'd fold them together. And uh, that's uh, what some of the earlier scrolls were made out of in uh, ancient times, was papyrus. It was like a writing paper. It was the uh, early version of, of what we have today as paper. And actually, paper is made in a very similar way. They beat wood fiber down. Instead of, uh, instead of grass fiber, they beat wood fiber down into a pulp. And then they take that pulp and they spread it out and dry it. And that's what this is. This is beat down fibrous pulp. So a lot of people when they use paper they never realize where it actually comes from and how paper is actually made. It's quite, it's quite the process actually. And it's not that unsimilar to the way it was made in ancient times by the uh, by the Egyptians. So, oh, there we go. Oh, wait, I got a little bit to do right here around the tail that I missed. How does that look for the horse's body? Well, we're going to give it a shot. And uh, this concludes this first segment. Hello, everybody. Here's the horse. We've drawn the horse and we got the horse's legs. And we got a little tail on him and everything now. And uh, what we were drawing just a minute ago was the rider. And uh, what we did was we, I drew a little bit too big. You can see he's a little bit too big for the horse sized him up a little bit too big so what we're going to do is we're going to cut him down a little bit and uh, we're going to reduce his size ever so slightly so we're going to uh, take a piece of paper here and I'm going to take the paper and I'm going to slip it on top of him and I'm going to let me see I'm going to move this horse over just a little bit so I can get this paper in the picture. I'm going to start retracing his legs here. Kind of a fat belly on this fella. I want him kind of heavy, set, basically. Start here in his chin, and then I want a big wide rim hat on him. So let's see how that works. Okay, it's still a little bit large. I got to size the man down just slightly more. But we're getting close. So that's the end of this segment. Stay tuned for the next segment.